Because I know I was, I was cussing out people last time. Hey, Hello? Wait, have you been here before? You met me last night. Oh my God, you did meet me last I'm like, who is in my real life like this? Oh my God. So <laughs> this is so, okay, let me tell you this story though. Like, I think it's kind of crazy. Let me give you the backstory. She's so right. And I totally forgot. And I'm happy. I'm yes. Like, it's the luck of okay. the draw. So stay, okay, in, stay in good life. Stay in good life. Stay in good life. So this is how crazy this is. Because I, I thought it was kind of crazy. So I was out last night with my guy. And he told her to come on my show. But what I thought was kind of crazy is you was, was that, was you not on a date with another guy? I was on a date. <laughs> myself i tell my guy like ain't you here with your boy he's yeah. like nah like she need to come on your show so if, if 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 my guy who knows your guy told you to meet somebody else i was like well damn <laughs> you don't have no faith in your friend it was it was a first date and it but I, I still thought it was crazy i was like you're on a date and and you like right Listen, to find another hey, date sometimes it you know when it's right, you know when it's wrong. <laughs> Girl, okay, this is this is so funny. And I'm so and I totally forgot that we had plans and this is how God works because I literally picked you by the luck of the draw. I'm so Tiffany. Let's do it. Okay, tell everybody your name. Thirty-eight. Tiffany, from LA. how old are you? Thirty-eight. LA, yeah. LA, correct? Okay. I'm a cancer. Um, what's your zodiac sign? Right we are the best sign. <laughs> He's a cancer. Tiffany LA, 38 cancer. What do you, yeah, what do, you do again um, for this? I'm you a, a CFO job. for a media company. She's a CFO for a media Two. company. You have children, One. correct? That's nine. Two kids. How old are your kids? Okay, so we have, so sometimes on Instagram there's a lag. So um, I, just wait okay. seven seconds before you answer, okay? So this is Tiffany. 38 cancer la a cfo media she for a media company two kids how old are your kids again wait seven seconds 15 and nine yeah are they I'm both the by the same man oh yes and when did you get divorced wait seven seconds four, four years ago so like <laughs> four, four years ago i cannot wait so again, back to her, if you just tuned in, I literally met her in person last night and she was on, a, I guess, I thought it was a date, but I guess it was, a, I don't know what it was, but my guy told her to come on my show and I just thought that was very interesting that I'm like, she's here with her boy and you're trying to set her up with somebody else. What is that about? But let's do it. What kind of man are you looking for? Wait seven seconds. Okay, for me, um... I want someone that's ready to be like a real partner. You have to know who you are as a man. You have to be stable in your life. I prefer if you have kids already, or um, if you've been in a long-term relationship before, or even been married, because I feel like you understand, you know, us divorcees, like you get it and you understand, like we're not here to waste time. Like I want a life partner. Um, I heard you ask the other girl, I do want someone that is financially stable, and that's only because I am. So you got to be able to match me. <laughs> so let's stay right there for a second. What does matching you look like? Like, what's the minimum? Wait seven seconds. I would say, um, you know, like just a six-figure man. We live in LA; it's expensive, but you got to be able to afford like the lifestyle, like traveling and going out. Um, have some sort of nest egg. Um, I would say like above 200, it has to be above 200. Has to be above 200. Let me ask you, because you do have a, you work in the media company, you're a CFO. I'm assuming you're around yes. men who obviously make that or more. Are you trying to date within your environment? Wait seven seconds. You don't necessarily have to be in entertainment or media. Um, but yes, I do. I, I do know a lot of people in the finance arena, in the tech arena. So I just would want someone that can kind of keep up with that. Yeah. Like, it's my, okay. So it's my, my preference. Your, it's just, say it again. I would prefer someone that, you know, 
they're they're stable with their life. Understand, understand. So just let's just be so we're about to go to your deal breakers. So is a deal breaker a man that makes less than two hundred K? Wait seven seconds. For I wouldn't say a deal breaker. It depends, of course, what state you live in. Um, for California, yeah, you got to be above two hundred. Got to be above two hundred, y'all. All right. So, what are your deal breakers? Wait seven seconds. Inconsistency, number one. Um, someone that doesn't really put forth much effort. That thinks like, oh, okay, like. You're not going to like, what are you doing? How's your day? Good morning. Me to death. Like, no, like make a plan. Tell me to be ready at seven o'clock at eight o'clock. Like we're going here. We're going to do this. Um, someone that is ready to be serious. Like I don't want someone that has a huge roster of women in rotation. Um, like I'm ready to get, I'm not ready, but I do want to get remarried one day. So I want someone that has that same likeness. Um, also someone who's very, uh, goal oriented, family oriented. Um, and if you're a liar, if you're like, uh, you know, a compulsive cheater, like don't waste my time. <laughs> okay. Um, does he have to look a certain way? Wait seven seconds. Yeah. So I'm tall as you see, as you know, so you have to be over six, yeah. th like six feet would probably be the shortest. <laughs> Woo. Woo. so six feet is the shortest 200k is the minimum amount of money are you open to black men only or are you open to all races wait seven seconds i prefer black men but i'm open to we'll see we'll see <laughs> you're open you're open here's i want to say this because i think we have this conversation a lot of my show and then some people even say that, oh, Kendra tries to stop black women for wanting men that make a lot of money. That's not the case. I actually have a lot of friends, black women in particular, who are married to men who make very well six figures and above. So I know it's a reality. The challenge, and I want to say this too, I understand the desire of any woman wanting a man that either matches her or wants more. Like, I understand that with my logical brain. The problem is, is there enough to go for every woman. And then that's what happens. Like, is there enough men that every woman is describing to be equally partnered up with? And then also too, I'm assuming yeah. monogamy is important to you. Wait seven seconds. For, for me, monogamy is very important. That's the problem that I will say I find in today's time. A lot of men, especially men that are of a certain status, they're players. They're they're, you know, they have like a whole bunch of different women. It's like, I'm not here for that, especially being a mom. Um, and I have my kids all the time. It's something that I just, I don't want to get into that pattern of like, oh, okay, like, you know, I'm with a man today. I'm out and about, and you know, when you start going to certain places, you run into like some of the same people over and over. Um, and I've noticed that it's been, it's been difficult to find like, men that want to be monogamous, but I believe that there's someone out there. Absolutely. I mean, but let's say he wants to be monogamous, but doesn't reach your financial requirements. I mean, as long as he's, you know, here's my thing. As long as you're successful and you are financially sound overall and you know how to budget and you have some sort of savings where it's like, you know, let something happen and you can't work anymore. I'm not saying that I wouldn't support my man because I 1000% would, but I don't want anyone that's like in severe debt. Like I'm not trying to take care of anybody. Got you. We're going to keep going, but I, I mean, I didn't comment on a lot of things like Tyler Perry had a video and he was saying to black women, he knows black women at um, happy relationships and they make more than their counterpart. And he got a lot of backlash. And here's how I, I always say this life is not one size fit all. You know, I don't believe in one way. I believe that whatever works for you. So there's some women who aren't housewives and are being well taken care of, but you also don't know what they potentially are dealing with, right? There might be a case where you might have to go 50-50. There might be a case where you might go 75-25. Who knows? I do know this though. Everybody I know in committed relationships 
everything changed. You know, I had a friend who married a football player and then, you know, obviously he had money. Then he got hurt and she ended up becoming the breadwinner. Like, you know, a partnership is what I think should be the most focused. Shout out to E.T., the hip hop preacher who's been married for several years. And the one thing he right. said is like, if you're right. a quarterback, you need a running back. You don't need another quarterback, right? So what happens is sometimes you're looking for the same position and that's just not even necessary for the unit. Um, I guess the overall thing is when you have, cause I do think, I don't wanna say it's superficial, I understand it, but at some point in time, and this is an individual, this is not really about you, Tiffany, this is an individual person assessment. Do you, at some point in time, can um, choose character and companionship over maybe some of, of the money requirements that you desire? And only you as an individual can answer that question. That is not for me to tell you how to decide. But there are going to be a lot of women because there's just not enough of those men that will probably have to consider nothing if they stay with right. that. As I agree with that. Home. Yeah, like character for me is very important. So yeah, like, like I said, if I don't mind being a team player, I don't mind like contributing to uh, my household or if I'm with a partner, I was married. I was I have always worked, my husband worked, you know, like we it was a team. So again, like, I don't have a problem with that. But it would be nice to just have someone that's like, we're in the same playing field. Gotcha. All right, let's do it, Tiffany. Now, I saw her, I met her in person. So let's do the Kendra Cam. Let's do anybody in the house. working it's with, sweet. girl. <laughs> so. Well, men like to see, you know, you look great. I always tell people, this makeup and this hair is for women and gay men. And men might like it at first, but ultimately, straight men yeah. like to see women in their purest form. And I say this because, and, I, and this is three years of hosting this show, I'm talking to straight men and the type of men that you guys describe you want. A lot of them like natural women. A lot of them want to see you, what they say, how you wake up in the morning. And the reason behind it is a couple of things that women don't want to talk about, but let's get into it. Your makeup, if you want a high quality man or whatever you want to call it, his clothes are expensive. So your makeup represents messing up his expensive ass clothes. So that's why a lot of these men don't really want you on so much makeup because they suit could cost five thousand dollars they don't want your makeup to ruin it when it comes to wigs let's get into it do it smell good do it smell good because guess what that shit might be itchy and when you in the bed at night with your man he don't want your itchy ass wig or weave to scratch it i'm just telling y'all the truth okay back to you all right Tiffany, we got to it you said you were once um married was that your last relationship wait seven seconds no so i dated someone uh in the middle of my divorce as i was going through a divorce i met someone we were together for two years uh we broke up in 2021 yeah 2021 okay you don't have to answer but i'm gonna ask when's the last time you was intimate with someone um i was a couple months ago a couple months ago okay um, so Tiffany, what are three flaws you have to work on? Wait seven seconds. One of my flaws, I would say I need to learn to be, um, soft. You know how they were saying like the soft girl era. Uh, I think I've just been so accustomed to doing everything for myself and being really independent and not allowing, um, someone to lead. So I need to learn how to just like take the back seat and be, you know, just be the co-pilot. <laughs> Be the co-pilot. Be the co-pilot. And um, that's one. You got my two patience, more. It will, I would say like I, I could be. I could tend to be impatient with people. Um, so that's that's another one. And then the third one. I would probably I'd say just those two are like my biggest flaws. Yeah. Those. Yeah. Are, those two are your biggest flaws. Those two are your biggest flaws. All right. Um, and does the guy have to be in California? Wait seven seconds. No, he can live anywhere. Okay. You're 38. What's the age range you want to date? Wait seven seconds. I would say from 38 to 50. 38 to 50. And, um, do you want more kids and can he have kids? Wait seven seconds. I'm open to having more kids if he doesn't 
I do prefer men that are active fathers that already have their own. Um, but if he doesn't have kids, it's fine. And I'm open to having more kids. Okay, they were, <laughs> because, okay, so backstory, and I said this at the top of her interview, that I actually met Tiffany last night because she was, uh, she was on a, I mean, it was a date. Uh, at least I thought it was a date with my guy's friends. So they want to know, I think I know this answer, but they want to know, was the guy you were last night? Yeah, he made a lot At least she was okay. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, I, I could answer that. Yes. Yep. Um, yes, yes, yes. All right. Um, but I he's not. Huh? Met him. <laughs> so it's not. No, I, I know you just met him, but I just felt like <laughs> more, it wasn't more so about you. It was more so to me about my guy actually trying to set you up with somebody else already. Volume, so so that's, and my that's exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, in his, I felt like indirectly. Like you looked at it as he was supporting my show because you were like he's supporting your show. He's telling you come on the show, and that's yeah. one and that is one sector. So much love to him in that way. But the other side is you saying your your boy ain't shit because if if you're trying to hook up a a girl who your friend is here with with somebody else, you're indirectly letting us know that that ain't the one she should be. <laughs> that's what I was. To. That's what I was. I was really looking at it but either way but Tiffany you know what I thought you were dope so maybe yeah. you, know, you might not be with him again but yes, we could all we can, me and you can kick it again girl we can kick it again. I'd like you <laughs> we gotta get on time all right well let's see how this works let's see how this works so this is Tiffany 38 cancer LA CFO of a media company two kids 9 and 15 divorced open to getting married again um she'll date 38 to 50 um she does want a man that can date her so you know, if you live in LA, you know, she would desire a man that makes more than 200K. Yeah. That could change depending yes. on you, where you live. Correct? All right. All right. Now's the moment where the guy uh, can reach out to you. How can the guy Instagram, reach out to you? Bro? You guys get in my DMs, underscore. It's Tiffy Tiff, underscore. Or email. Um, I'll give you like my other email. It's tiffany.acct1 at gmail. Okay, oh, you want you want them to do your Gmail? Say it again. Oh, you wait seven seconds. Yeah. You want them to do Instagram? I, I, okay, so give the Instagram name and then in your Gmail, but just wait seven seconds. So Instagram underscore it's Tiffy Tiff T I F F Y T I F F underscore, or um, you can email me, and that's Tiffany dot A C C T one at Gmail. Okay. All right. We did the Kendra cam. You looked really good. They, some people missed it. You want to do it again? Because she looked good. She got a great shape. I mean, I'm telling you guys, I'm looking really good. Like... <laughs> no, you look great. You look great. All right. All right, Tiffany Boo. -Boo. I'm happy you came on, girl. I totally forgot, so it worked out. All right. Bye. All right. Bye, baby.